We're staying in our ISO A3 title block .dwg file, and I've left it in the same state as it was at the end of the last video. And you'll notice that we've created a lovely title block for our construction drawings, but it doesn't fit on the sheet. So this is where we need to set up what is known as a page setup. So you'll notice we're currently in the ISO A3 landscape layout tab in the bottom left corner of the screen. If I right click on that, you'll see that we have page setup manager. So I'm going to click there like so. Now you'll recognize it because it popped up when we opened up the layout for the first time. And I said that we'd come back to it later, so here we are. So what we've got to do now is set up a page setup that our current layout, our ISO A3 landscape layout, can use to make sure that the sheet size, the white sheet, fits our title block nicely. So you'll notice that we don't have any page setups. It says none. There are no page setups. All we've got is a setup currently for the layout tab and that's why the sheet is the wrong size let me just drag the page setup manager over to the right a little you can see this white sheet this white sheet is set to 210 by 297 landscape which is an iso a4 sheet size which means it's too small for our iso a3 landscape title block that we want to use in the layout tab so i need to make a page setup that basically tweaks the page setup details so that our title block fits nicely. So I'm just gonna bring the page setup manager back to the center of the screen, click on new, and the new page setup name be descriptive. So this is going to be an ISO A3 page setup, like so. And then I'm going to put DWF because that's the file format that I'm going to output to when I use this page setup. Now it may be that you output to a hard copy printer, an electronic DWF file, perhaps a PDF file. It's entirely up to you, but you'll see as we move into the page setup where that DWF becomes important. So I'll click on OK there. I'm gonna use the ISO A3 landscape to start with, by the way, because that's what's already there. I'll click on OK and off we go. So there's our page setup dialog box. Printer plotter is none. I'm gonna go for the DWF6 ePlot PC3 which is the DWF in the name of the page setup. Paper size, I'm going to change there to ISO A3. So I'll scroll up and I want ISO A3 420 by 297. And you can see that fits nicely in the preview. What to plot, I'm gonna to go to extents so that the extents of the sheet and the extents of the title block are on the outside edges. And I'm gonna center them so that they're on top of each other centered. I'm going to use a scale of one to one because the sheet will be ISO A3, the paper size, and also the title block will be ISO A3. Plot style table, I'm just going to go for monochrome, black and white, like so. Everything else I'm not going to worry about too much apart from the landscape setting. Make sure that capital A is in the right orientation to the sheet in the layout tab. I'm going to click on preview. And there's my lovely title block looking nice and neat on my white sheet. You can see that it all looks proper right click and exit the preview and we'll okay that now and there's my iso a3 page setup dwf in the list you'll notice there are no asterisks around it asterisks represent layout tabs anything without asterisks is a page setup in the list so if i now select my page setup i can select that or i can select that i'll select the page setup and highlight it in blue double click on it and i'll apply it to the current layout so now my current layout tab, ISO A3 landscape, is using the ISO A3 page setup DWF page setup to make sure that everything's the right size. When I click on close now, you'll see that the sheet size has rejigged itself. Basically, you can see that it's the right size and it fits the title block. So we've got an ISO A3 sheet size, which is the white piece of paper with the dashed lines. And we've got our ISO A3 title block, the orange line, sitting centered to the extents on top of it. Now, just before I finish here in the page setup video, those little dashed lines on the white sheet are your printer limits. They depend on your printer and your printer drivers and how they work with AutoCAD. You can see that the outside edge of the title block, the orange line, won't get printed because it's outside the printer limits. That's why I created that 20 millimeter border moving inside the printer limits. So it's always good to have that little offsetted border in any title block you create. 